Okay, so my name is Ayana Hadeen Garrett. Hi, my name is Darius. My name is Sam Donahue. Hi, my name is Jemaya. Hi, I'm Preeti Jahari. Hey, my name is Jerali Leo. Hello, I'm Jeff George. My name is Tracy Walker Griffith. Hi, my name is Nisi Rose Perez. I'm Kathleen Puffet. My name is Allison Balter. My name is Emily Kamara. I'm Lindsay Pickett. Hi, I'm Yeji Sun. My name is Taizo. My name is Janisha Moise. I think that deeper learning is when students are learning something important and then doing something important with that. And through that process that they are learning about themselves or the world around them. To me, what deeper learning is not only teaching us just about math, your learning science, teaching us about facts and things that are actually happening. I always think of deeper learning as the way. To me, deeper learning is something, is when you're learning something like unusual, something that you didn't see coming, you know? Deeper learning for for us is to see their identities and their contributions reflected in the learning that they're doing um, and to do real meaningful work that is rigorous grade level um, and, you, you know, and beyond, right? Like work of the discipline. We want our students to be doing the work of scientists, mathematicians, historians, and sociologists. Like being able to like uh, take in um content and being able to like run with it and like branch off into different other content and just like being able just to like build and build off of that and um increase your learning when i think about what deeper learning means i honestly think about how engaged the kids are in it it's not just like you turn it in for a grade or it's like a worksheet that i'm scoring it's you actually care about the content that you're learning in school because it interests you deeper learning to me it's like it's like doing things on your own, but with still having the help. So deeper learning to me is effective teaching and what like what we all like aspire to do when we enter the profession, but it actually helps us do that. What's amazing about this experience is that these projects are some of the highest that I've ever seen in my career. And all I needed to do was trust that they were capable of it. This is the most like productive year I've had in like, um, even though it's virtual, it's like I learned the most this year too. It was, it was pretty hard trying to do like all the work and doing all the math and making sure that's correct and double checking your sources, doing all the stuff. It was pretty hard, but I really enjoyed it too. Um, we all had different ideas and we had to like put them all together. We were like, okay guys, we, we can't all have our own plans and just keep them to ourselves. We have to like say what our plan is and we can take parts of everybody's plan and put them together and make this amazing thing. It was really fun and like we learned a lot. I love my class. I love my class and my teacher. What I say is always be is just for the grade. Oh my god, we have another stress is for the grade. But now like I learned that it's for the purpose. Like we're learning something out of this. So yeah, I just wanna just saying, like, I think my teachers were getting me out of that mindset that it's just very great. Kaleidoscope just really helped set in motion the conversation that I think we we thought we were having before, but weren't really having at that level. And so it really helped us kind of step back and think about how can we have these conversations more frequently with our with our families and our students? How can we make sure that as we're doing deeper learning, that we're elevating student and family voice? Right, they have worked to learn about our school, Um, our teachers, our students, where are we? Um, And then they've given us language for things that we have been trying to talk about, but didn't know how to. I think going through things like the task calibrations, especially to the equity pause, um, really centering a task um, around the standards has been so helpful uh, to make sure that not only are the kids and the students um, having fun with this learning task and and really going deep into the research and connecting into their communities it's also really emphasizing the curriculum and the standards that they need to walk away with as well having teachers pause and reflect and be like why are you doing this why are you changing this why are you inserting this why are you keeping this so that you can actually have a meaningful deeper learning task A lot of these questions I've never asked my teachers before. I've never asked them whose voice is being heard and uh, pictured in this task, in this reading, in this article. Like those were questions I had never thought to ask my teachers or really even uh, ask myself when I was teaching. And it really opened 
their perspective of what teaching could be. The equity pause is a great example. It's so easy to not think about, okay, what bias, biases am I bringing into this curriculum? What, what are students going to take away from this? What narrative am I telling when I'm creating this curriculum? It's super easy to have blind spots. So having protocol to go through is super helpful. Like I really feel like Kaleidoscope understood that the value is bringing people with you, not saying like, this is how you're supposed to do it and you need to do it in this way and submit this, but really like, how are you making sense of this? Let's check in and, um, and giving us like guidance on how to, to implement. If you continue to keep children at the center of what you do and deeper learning as the way, you are going to be the future of learning. I feel really strongly that this is gonna, gonna change education in, in ways we need to do it.